Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this peachy, pretty springy look. Um, I find that this is when I want peach, when I want a peach look, this is the one I go for. Um, and I absolutely love it. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. I've already primed my eyes with the MAC Pink Pot in Painterly. Uh, obviously you can see I have my foundation on. I have my eyebrows on. Yeah, I'm ready for my eyeshadow. So basically I'm going to use um, two palettes. Um, my Z palette with my Makeup Geek eyeshadows in it. And I'm going to use, also use the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette because I find that um, when I do this look, I want more peach. So I feel like just this palette alone does not give all the peach that I desire. So I do go um, in with my Makeup Geek. You can see that I have some peachy colors in there. But anyway, so basically the first thing I do is I take the color, um, um, I usually take um, white peach up here with my fluffy brush and I put that all over the lid as my base so that my shadows will blend out. Then I go, I go in with Peaches and Cream and Georgia and I use that as um, my transi transition shade. <laughs> and sometimes I, when I feel it's not as bright as I want it, I just put, add more. Sometimes I like my peach to be intense, sometimes not so intense, but I lately I've been really liking that more bright, intense um, peachy color so um, that's why I keep adding more because I will be having a bright intense peach and I want it to transition nice so it doesn't look harsh so then I will take um, candied peach and I will take that same brush and just start adding that to kind of like as the, the transition shade but a little bit lower just a little bit lower just to kind of intensify what I want there then I'm done with this I'm done with the Too, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette then I'm going to take Makeup Geek um, eyeshadow in Mango Tango and I'm going to take a smaller brush because I want this to be a little bit more direct in the crease and this is the Luxie 121 Mini Tapered it's really good for hooded eyed people and then basically I just take a little bit of it and I tilt my head back and I, I look at my, I kind of raise my brows a little bit, um, but I just to see the bone here and I just want to focus that in the bone area. See what I'm saying? And so when I go like this, it's more directed inside the crease. And then I kind of blend it up so it's like transitioned into that other color that I have. I'm going to take a little bit more Mango Tango and I'm going to tap it off this time because I don't want too much to apply and do the same thing to just intensify that corner kind of bring it down a little bit here it's kind of like a like a like a peachy like a peachy halo eye that I do um but not as intense as my regular halo eyes anyway and then after that I will take um, still the same brush and I will take the Makeup Geeks um, eyeshadow in the color poppy look how peach that is it's so bright and peach and I love it so I just I just dipped it in a couple of times and then I tapped it off because this is very pigmented all of Makeup Geeks and again I'm going to do that so I can map out and I'm trying to trying to gonna go a little bit tad bit lower than I did with the other one and I'm also going to bring this color into the outer corner, kind of like flicking motions to kind of blend, like make it look like a faded dark here and then gets lighter. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to do the inner corner. Okay, so you see it's kind of like a halo eye. Well, it is a halo eye, but it's more like a muted 
kind, you know, it's not super intense like some of mine have been. And then I'm just gonna bring that color in between here. So I feel like that is pretty enough for me. And I'm gonna do the lower lash line now. I'm gonna take um, a Mango Tango, Makeup Geeks Mango Tango, and I'm gonna put it on this little brush. This detail brush is a um, 14 Luxie 141 Mini Round. And I feel like this gives me the most control under here. And I'm just going to focus that. So, and I'm going to bring it, keep bringing it. Start, when you get the product on the brush, start at the outer corner because that's where you want the most to be applied. And then just drag it over here. And then I'm going to take Poppy with that little bit of leftover um, Mango Tango. And then I'm going to do it again but see I mean it looks really pretty peach gorgeous color um, but if you want to smoke it out even more which I do so I'm going to um, I'm just going to take my bigger brush the um, Luxie 121 mini tapered I'm going to take peach smoothie which is like more of like a transition color which is exactly what I want for what I'm about to do and I will take that onto this brush just a little bit and I will start kind of blending that line out but also giving it a touch of um, color too at the same time. So it's not like super, um, a super stark, it's more like smoked out than, you know, a stark line, which it wasn't a stark line before, but I like to go the extra step and do that because I think it just makes everything just look a lot more blended, a lot more seamless, just gorgeous. Um, so then after that, I will um, figure out, usually <laughs> it's hard for me to decide which shimmer I wanna use for the pop of shimmer right here in the middle because um, I have so many beautiful shimmers to use but I find myself gravitating more towards this one it's a foiled eyeshadow and makeup geek it's called in the spotlight and I think it looks so pretty with the peachy color that that I usually do when I'm you know going for my peach <laughs> um, but yeah I love this so then I take my makeup geek um, foiled eyeshadow brush and so I just do um, take my pencil black liner and I will um, do the waterline um, I will tight line underneath and then I will put a white eyeliner underneath and then of course I will curl my lashes I will put my Tarte um, um, opening act eyelash primer on let that dry and then I will put my um, benefit roller lash over top so um, when I'm done doing all that, I will be back. So this is the finished look. I forgot to mention that I also put the color Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek on the inner corner for the inner corner highlight and on the brow, uh, the brow bone highlight. And I also brought it in a little bit on the lash line, just a little bit. Um, but I also wanted to tell you guys what I used for my lips. And I used... Um, I use the melted Too Faced melted chocolate um, lipstick in the color chocolate honey. Smells good. It's gorgeous. Um, and then over top, more like in the middle area to kind of like highlight a little bit. Um, I did my Tarte um, color splash lipstick in the color pink lemonade, and it's gorgeous. In my waterline, I put the Smashbox Always On gel eyeliner. Um, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love that so much. Hit the subscribe button and the bell button next to it so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Uh. Ooh wee. <laughs> Excuse me. Fuck. My battery's about to die.